well hello everybody and welcome back to another video okay i'm just gonna stop here for a second and just say thank you guys for all of your lovely comments in my video short that i posted yesterday i really missed hearing from you guys and just posting videos for you and my goal right now is to just put put out a video once a week that's that's my goal right now so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i enjoy talking to you guys and reading your comments and just interacting with you guys again yeah now i know it's been such a long time since i filmed a video i think it's been like over a month already that i filmed a video by the way i'm sick that's why i sound like this i've been sick for like about a week now i'm getting tired of it but <clears throat> i am going to be i'll talk more in this video um just a little bit but i'm just going to get started on my little mini spreads i've been really enjoying a lot of abstract <clears throat> art so that's what i'm going to be doing today and i'm going to be showing you how i do my spreads how i create my abstract art spreads um and i use this with just materials that i have so i have my paints and that's like one of the products that i have um that you can buy but everything else is like um papers that i just design i just like make marks like with watercolor or paints and i just use that so i'm just gonna get a few of these pieces here i really enjoy using black like in the background and then adding the color on top i really enjoy the black um popping out from the back part but yeah i'm just gonna get some pieces of paper i use this i just make marks on them you can do that with whatever you can do that with brown paper bag or get copy paper get copy paper or any paper that you know people are gonna throw out just i like to keep them and then just use them reuse them and do marks on them and then i can you know do that but yeah so Probably no excuse to why i mean i just haven't been in the mood to be honest to to be filming i've just been focusing on other things um that i want to focus on like um changing my like just job my career in general just working on other things so i've been i've always loved design i've always loved graphic design okay so i'm just gonna start pasting what i like to do is just you know i like to use different materials for my abstract art so pieces of paper um anything like that i'm gonna put that down there i don't know if i should do both pages the same style or different i'll just do it like this i'm just gonna put down some paper like that then i like to add in using stamps i like to use paint maybe marker um oil pastels i've been really enjoying so here i have my my watercolor palette and my oil pastels that i've been using i like these that i that i got from walmart so those are the ones i'm going to be using i don't know what color scheme i'm going to do maybe orange and yellow so i'm just going to get my glue stick and just paste that down there so i've been i really like design so i kind of figured what career path to go towards and that's graphic design so i've just been working a lot on learning as much as i can about graphic design typography color theory all that and just working on projects and just kind of practicing and, and finding my way around graphic design and and using illustrator ooh, using illustrator and photoshop um all that stuff let me get <clears throat> So that's what I've been doing for like the past month. And I, I just, I love it. I've been working on projects every day, uh, practicing my, my logo designs, which I'm, I'm finding my rhythm around, like how I like to create them, um, what steps I like to take first. And yeah, it's just so much fun. I just finished working on one logo design that I absolutely love. It looks really, really cool. Um, but yeah, that's just what, i've been doing also i hope everybody had a nice holiday i didn't even i usually i don't post up on social media anymore um so i don't know i just like to have my time i guess so i hope i hope you guys had a nice holiday but i haven't been active on any of my social media platforms but yeah i want to get back into making videos you know it'll be probably just whenever i feel like filming to be honest so i'm not gonna have a schedule so that's what you guys were waiting for i'm sorry but i'm not i don't think i'll have a schedule i i still i want to try to be putting out videos for you guys though because I, I enjoy just <clears throat> okay so i made these with just um watercolor like sometimes my watercolor palette gets like this 
So sometimes, you know, it's all messy. So sometimes I'll put some water, water it down, and they get some pieces of paper and just stick it in there. And I get this interesting effect. Also, I have a new setup. I don't know what colors I want to do. I wanted to do like a yellowy orange. Let me look through this. I just put this together. I put this clip here and okay, perfect. Okay, so let me get this. So yeah, that's just what I've been up to. So I'm gonna get this. this is a pretty color actually. I really like that. I don't like all the straight edges. So just gonna trim that down. And it's nice. It's kind of nice to be away from social media, to be honest. It's not my thing at the moment to be like, I'll, I'll, I'll go on YouTube and watch videos and stuff. But as for like, just posting on social media, I just haven't brought myself to it. Like, it's not that important for me, I guess, at the moment. Yeah, I'm just working my way. Okay, that's pretty. I like that. Just paste that. Maybe I can get a different. Mm, not that be too much. Maybe some black, more black. I'm trying to film this video fast because I have to leave soon. Okay, so I really enjoy. Maybe I'll put that on top. Okay. So I'm just putting together different pieces of paper. I was I was trying to find my way through abstract art, like how I would like to do it. I tried just making art abstract art with just paints, just um watercolors, just using gouache paint. Um, it's not my thing. I really like using different mediums. So I like to use papers, paints. So I I like to start off by putting down um, different paper designs, different colors and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. You guys can obviously take inspiration from this, find your way through it. That's the fun thing about art. Just have fun. With abstract art, that's fun as well because it's just, it doesn't make sense. I really enjoy it. Even, I was noticing even through the way that I design my logos, I really like the abstract, um, abstract logos. I really enjoy it. So what have you guys been up to? Okay, so I think this one's done. Well, not done, but I really like those colors. That's pretty. This piece here. This is just, um, I just put watercolor on this. It's just black watercolor. I'm gonna stick this down now. Sorry about all the noise in the background. But let me know down in the comments below what other art videos you guys would like to see. Um, also, my video style, I, I watch a lot of other like journaling videos and stuff and sometimes I get like, um, you, be, you kind of become like, um, not an imposter, but like a, I don't know what you would call it, but from seeing other videos, then I, I replicate the way they film and it's not, I don't like it just cause I get tired of it obviously because it's not my style. So I'm just gonna film, I'm not gonna have a, a specific way of filming. I'm not gonna do anything fancy schmancy cause it's a lot of work and right now I don't have that time. So I'm just gonna be filming however I please. It's just, you know, so I wanted to, cause I have a lot of stationery. I, don't even use anymore but I was thinking oh I'm gonna save all my stationery because eventually when I have a kid do like a cute little art studio or like have them use all, all the supplies so okay so I just finished putting all of my papers down let me move this um okay so now I like to go in with some type of paint I don't know if I'm gonna use just the regular Walmart paint also, that's my lizard in the back, and there's a lot of noise going on, but I really want to just film this. So I, ha I have this regular white paint, or I might just use my gouache paints. 
I filmed this video. I haven't even uploaded it. I filmed it a long time ago, but these are my gouache paints. I have been enjoying a lot. I've been using a lot of the white because white is what I, I use a lot. So I'm just gonna get my paintbrush. This paintbrush came with the gouache paints. I'll leave it linked down below if anybody's interested. But I really like, I love the texture of gouache paints. I don't know. And it mixes in very nicely. So I'm just gonna get a little bit actually. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get my um, stencils because I like to add some kind of texture to it. And I think that this works very well for that. So I don't know what kind of pattern I wanna go for. Maybe this or this one, I'm not sure yet. Or this one, these are like my favorite stencils right now. So I think I might go in with this, just add like, I don't know what the best way to do this is. And I should have just done this um, with my sponge, but oh well. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over it with the stencil. Like that. And it just gives it this really cool effect. And then when it dries up, it has like a texture. So I'll do that again. See all my white is like mixed in with different paints. Maybe I'll do it this way. You can do this with a sponge or your finger, um, but I'm just doing it. This is the first time I do it this way. Okay, just like that. Perfect. And I have all this paint left over, so so instead of just um like taking it off somewhere else, I kind of just scrape it on wherever around the page. And that looks cute. Like we couldn't stop right there, but I'm not done yet. What else do I like to add? Um, what else? Oh, uh, I have my little dryer I use to just dry my little paintings super quick. So I'm gonna grab this. <clears throat> now, I see here that there's like this um, reddish, orangey colors in here. So I wanna bring that out. So I'm just gonna get my spatula and I like to do this. I'm just gonna get one of these colors i don't know which one i want a different color maybe i'll go for this one just a little bit of it and then maybe i should do a little less and then just kind of scrape it wherever kind of like i'm cleaning my brush but not really so like that do that again like that that's what I like to use my spatula for and I have let me see I have I'm gonna get one of my orange pastel colors so this rich orange i have this one which is like um a scarlet color i like to try them out before i use them or maybe like um this yellowish or this okay that's too many colors so let's just try them out um where should i try it out i got that one Okay, so I have these colors. Maybe I'll go for this color, this is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm gonna get my oil pastel color and I'm not gonna do the same thing on both pages just cause they're already looking a bit similar. So, you know, I might just get this or no. Um, can you even see that? So I just make little marks like that. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, 
do some weird shape or I don't know circles and whatever maybe like a <clears throat> just kind of color what happened to my voice there just color around a bit just have some fun something like that um maybe going with this color as well do like uh, some semicircles. just do whatever and then I eventually go in with my pen. So then I get my pen and I just like to make marks. I like this pen because it's very light, the marks, which is what I like. I tried using my black paint pen, but it's just too thick. I didn't like the way that it was coming out. Um, maybe just like, little other marks something like that maybe you want to make circles or whatever maybe that's too much there but uh, no it's fine um, sometimes I like to do paint splatters should I do paint splatters or just leave it that way? I don't know. I kind of like it that way, but should I? Just darken it. Maybe I'll add it to one page. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water here and maybe go for like a black. Oh yeah. That's good. Now the last thing that I like to do is go in with this stamp here. It gives me, I, I cut this out like a long time ago, but it kind of, I like using this to like make my borders um, cause it gives it like this sewing effect, which I really like. So that's just what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I finished that. That was a lot harder than I thought because it kept falling off. So if any of you know how to fix that, that would be amazing. But here are my little tiny abstract spreads. So I'm gonna punch the holes in it and then we're ready. Okay, just gonna put these in. And we have our little mini abstract spreads they came out so cute i really like the way that they came out i think it came out better that we did the same kind of theme uh probably right i think so well i don't really mind if they're different themes they don't look bad but this is what the spreads came out like i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed this um abstract art with me um i hope you guys got some ideas and you know new techniques as to what you can do but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys